Hey guys, today on Bachelor on a Budget, we are going to be making Asian roasted vegetables. Super simple to make. We're gonna cut up all these vegetables in its appropriate sizes, add in some flavors, throw that into the oven, and enjoy. Okay, first we want to wash all of our vegetables and then dry them thoroughly because we don't want to steam them when they're in the oven. I've already dried all of these. Okay, so we're gonna cook all of this together. And so we wanna get our thickest, most dense vegetables into the smallest sizes. So squash, we're gonna cut really small because we have leafy greens like bok choy that don't take very long. You could even throw these in after. And I'm not gonna use uh, this whole thing, so I'll save that for later. You can use a peeler here. This is a uh, butternut roasted squash. You don't have to worry about stuff being all the exact same size. As long as it's pretty close, some stuff's gonna be slightly more cooked through uh, than others, but uh, yeah, we're looking pretty close here. Pro tip. Keep a wet cloth under your cutting board and that will keep your cutting board from sliding around. Next we have broccoli. First I cut off some of the roots and you can totally use this. But for the broccoli, I want about this size. Next we have oyster mushrooms. I've made a vegan pulled pork out of these things but uh, they can take on a very like umami and rich, rich flavors. With these, I want to go pretty thin. I have my washed and dried bok choy here. Bok choy, uh, all we're going to do is cut that in half. Make sure there's no dirt. Um, if you have the ends that are kind of brown, you can cut those off. And I think this is like sprouted bok choy, so it's not the full size. So you don't have to make the same medley of vegetables that I'm doing. You can use uh, carrot or uh, sweet potato, but um, yeah, don't be afraid to take some away. I have different ones. So for Brussels sprouts, we're going to cut off the ends, first the stems and then we are going to cut those in quarters. You want to check to make sure these don't have any more dirt. Um, you can always give these another wash. These ones look pretty good, but sometimes you'll have dirt under the leaves. Oh, and even a little bug. It's a really little bug. Almost forgot, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I got some garlic here. I don't want this to burn, so what I'm gonna do is just take off some of the outside skin because uh, garlic is pretty easy to burn. And some people like to taste the burnt garlic, me, not so much. And you can even give those a bit of a smash too. I'm also gonna go in with a bit of onion. I add onion to everything. Onions are cheap, healthy, and bring out the flavor and everything. And also bulk dishes up. While your oven's heating up, what you can do is take your baking sheets and throw those into the oven to heat up and that will ensure that the bottom get a bit more crispy. You don't have to do this and you can also choose to use parchment paper. Okay, all the vegetables I need to cut are in this giant bowl. You don't have to make this much. What you don't wanna do is actually crowd the pan. Uh, so I'll probably actually save some of this, uh, but I just wanna show you the variety of different types of vegetables you can use. But let's get our sauce going. So the great part of this is you can be really flexible with the ingredients. So I'm gonna go in with about three tablespoons of oil. Um, now that may seem like a lot, but I have a lot of stuff in here. Maybe if you're just cooking for uh, yourself, you might wanna go half. I mean, we're trying to get leftovers here. I love leftovers. And you want to use a high smoke point oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. Avocado oil is great. Now for our Asian flavors. Okay, of course we got to have some soy sauce. This is a great way to add like salt to it. Let's start off with two tablespoons. And we're also going to use two tablespoons of mirin. This is like, a, it's very sweet. I'm going to go in about one to two tablespoons of that. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of sesame oil. One of my favorite Asian flavors is miso paste and I have quite a few recipes with miso paste but miso paste is awesome like it's I use it on popcorn this stuff is great so we're gonna go in with this is about two tablespoons one like heaping tablespoon I mix that all together and it's really salty and it has a really rich umami flavor anyone give that a taste it's gonna be quite powering because you're adding it to all of those vegetables but delicious mm. Okay, let's drizzle this all over. Okay, mix it up halfway.
Last ingredient, if you've never seen these before, you're in for a treat. This is enoki mushrooms, and these little, little guys are so flavorful, um, and so we're not gonna do too much to these, um, but uh, I didn't want them to get all mushed, and so we're just gonna take off the ends, and they'll still kind of be attached at the bottom, uh, so what you want to do, oh, missed the spot, just kind of peel them off in chunks. I just wanted to add that last so they don't all get uh, mushed around. Make sure everything's coated nicely. You don't want it any more crowded than that, so let's get that in the oven. You can see I still got lots of extra vegetables, so uh, I can set that aside. I don't want to overcrowd this, so uh, we're just gonna go in with the two roasting pans today. That's been cooking about 20 minutes, so we'll take that out and give it a bit of a mix. Back in the oven. So you can see we got some pretty good browning on these. I'd say if we actually used a bit more uh, oil, we probably could have got a nicer brown um, and less crowding of the pan. When cooking it all together, you do have to be careful that you don't burn the broccoli, like it cooks it pretty strong through, and that's where you're also gonna wanna mix it. This is great for simplicity. Hmm. Let's give some of this a try. Hmm. That roasted squash, king oyster mushroom, delicious. Mmm, nice piece of garlic, look at this. Mmm, well, this is all amazing. I'm excited to sit down and enjoy more of this, but I wanna thank you guys for watching. I haven't been putting in as much content lately, but I have over 100 videos now that you can check out, and I have transitioned to a plant-based diet, so I'm trying to do all my recipes to plant-based, but thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, but thanks. Bye for now. What are you doing? How's it? That's so good. That's a big bite you got there. The enoki mushrooms are my favorite. I like the oyster.